Good afternoon. So we are on our epic Midwest trip, spring 2021. And we are driving, trying to get to I-5 right now. We're in um, on Highway 16 in Tacoma. And there is an accident on the shoulder. Ah, here's the fire truck up ahead. So everyone has to get over. But um, we're hoping to get to the Cabela's in Idaho tonight, which is in 313 miles. So that would take me about seven hours. Um, if you were in a car, it would take five hours. But um, I like going there because it's a free, they have a nice free parking lot and you can go inside and use the restrooms and everything. But um, yeah, it should be a good drive. We'll um, film going by these emergency vehicles and we won't do any continuous filming until we get to George Washington and we'll start doing all the rest of I-90 but um, hopefully there's not any more accidents I, I hope ah I wonder if somebody rear-ended someone Looks like an Oregon truck rear-ended a minivan with kids in it. Uh, someone, oh, and then there's another SUV up front here. So it's like a chain reaction, it looks like. That's too bad. But um, I will see you in a bit. All right, welcome back. We've hit our second traffic jam. This one is always here. It's in, um, whoops, I'm trying to get the camera situated. I'm going to have to tighten that. But um, this is uh, I-5 in Tacoma. Been like this for 15, 20 years. And they've been working on it for 15, 20 years. I'm not sure when they're done with the construction. That it's going to be any better, honestly. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully in the next year they're done. Finally. But it says I have a five minute delay going through all this the problem is all these lanes merge and they're still going to be merging um, but I, I don't know I guess we can only hope but there's the Tacoma Dome in front of us so Zoe was really sad that um, it was just me and her going and my wife staying home She's doing pretty good though this time. A lot better than last time. Last time she meowed for the first hour and a half. Yeah, and I'm not sure where she went. She's, I wonder if she had to go to the bathroom. Or she's up top. I have the air on. And I don't think it's hitting her, but she doesn't like that if it does. But um, we're going to stop at um, Snoqualmie Pass and take a little break. And let her roam and check things out, eat, you know, eat some of our food, drink some of our water, and, and then from there, we will keep heading east, um, but we're gonna, heading toward the, um, Auburn exit, I think it is, and I can't remember the name of that road now, the highway that cuts across the I-90, but, um, unless there's anything else interesting, we will see you in Snoqualmie Pass. We are getting on, it's Washington 18 East for 28 miles. Saves about 30, 40 miles by taking this road instead of taking I-5 all the way up to I-90. But um, it's usually not too bad. The uh, Rhododendron Garden is off of this next exit, Weyerhaeuser Way South such a neat office building. I can't believe no one's um, rented it. It's been empty ever since they went to Pioneer Square. I wonder if they plan on coming back someday. I would. <laughs> but this road, um, we go through Auburn and then um, that's about it until we get to I-90, so I will see you at the next
next junction. We are driving up to Tiger Summit now on Highway 18 East. We will be in I-90 in 7 miles. So this is, um, sometimes there's traffic here um, just because of the hill. They get, you get trucks that have to slow way down going up. There's a lot of hiking trails up at the top. Never checked them out yet. The parking lot's always pretty full though. But I will film the, the drive up, or part of it at least. It's 81 degrees still. I'm hoping so Poly Pass is like 65. So I filled the um, RV up with water yesterday, and that's always fun after our, you know sitting outside all winter. You just hope you um, winterize it, right? But I think I did. There's no leaks and everything's working, so that's good. Awesome to have flush toilet and a sink again so I can wash my hands and go to the bathroom and everything. I miss that over the winter. So we have a 40 gallon freshwater tank and then the waste tanks, the gray waste and the black tanks are each 40 gallons also. So you can basically fill up the tank twice. Um, I wouldn't do that just because it's really heavy if you're driving, but if you don't have a place to dump, you know, um, you know you'll be alright. Yeah, I think the next few days here is supposed to be in the low 80s hottest days of the year so far. Oh, so this is Memorial Day. Forgot to mention that. Tiger Summit elevation 1,377 feet. So it's the Tiger Mountain State Forest that you hike in. And the parking lot is off to the left. It looks packed. It's usually pretty full. It must be nice. I think you can hang glide from the top of it. I think the views are really good too. Someday, though, we'll have to try that. But um, I will see you in a bit. We have four miles to I-90. Well, here's the I-90 East ramp. So we have two, 275 miles if we can make it to the Cabela's tonight. We might find a truck stop, too. Um, see if I want to eat some real food or not. I just have um, nuts and the vegetable chips um, for now. I didn't want to deal with the refrigerator and getting it cold and all that. But um, here's I-90. I'm really curious as to how much snow is at the top of the pass still. I don't think there'll be that much. It really melts fast. Not sure where Zoe went. I think she's under the blanket on the couch. I had the AC on and she got cold. But um, hopefully we'll be at Snoqualmie Pass in about 30 minutes. All right, we are half a mile from Snoqualmie Pass, the west exit. But. Um, not much snow left, but I mean, not along the, the interstate. We're going to take a little break here. 
It's 77 still, so it's warm. Oh, there's some snow right there. It's 77 degrees here, which is way warmer than I thought it would be. They have a um, nice visitor center restroom area here if you're in a car and some restaurants and stuff. It's a nice place to stop actually. Off of the side of the road, the shoulder is they got tons of parking for RVs and stuff. Wow, I can't even see this. The lines in the, in the street are gone from all this salt and snow plows and stuff. They need to repaint and restripe. But um, the Summit Inn is right here. So we, oh wow, these are all new on the right, all these new condos. We are going to pull over up here. They look really nice. We're going to park right here. This is where I parked last time too. Yeah, this looks really nice. They've done a good job. I think it's new. I don't remember it. So, But um, we will see you in a bit. So here's our first stop. Zoe's um, checking things out. But um, I got the back bedroom sealed off so she can't go back there. We used to let her go back there, but she threw up once in the bed while we were driving and that ended that. because <laughs> It was on my side too. <laughs> it was not fun. But it is, I think it's 2, 220, but um, I thought she might eat or drink some water. There's her food. Well, she's just checking stuff out, I think. It um, takes her a little bit to realize this is home for a while. <laughs> she got to smell everything. But I think I'm gonna have some snacks and probably go outside and get a little video of the mountain here. And hopefully Zoe will let me get some video of her. But we will see you in a bit. So jo Zoe has adjusted. She's enjoying our little break. Cleaning herself. Aren't you? She had a little food. She likes looking out the window. And it's it's nice and warm. Well, 75, 76. And um, we're not moving. So that's always good. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I wish we had two, like, so would we travel, but I don't know. <laughs> I think we're going to leave in about five minutes, so hopefully she gets her grooming done. And um, next stop, maybe we'll stop at a rest area. Or, I'm not really sure, Ellensburg. I might get Diesel and George. So we'll see. Say goodbye, Zoe. Say goodbye to the peoples. Everyone loves you. Yeah. Well, this looks a lot better than last summer when we were here and the forest fires were going. You couldn't see anything. But this is the um, west exit of Snoqualmie Pass. Oh, there's the famous Summit Pancake House. And it's part of the Summit Inn. And there's the RV. Wow, that's a horrible sound. <laughs> but um, over here they have the Lee Summit Grocery Store. I think it's where all the PCT hikers go and then bathrooms and there's actually a um, Washington State Ski and Snowboard Museum right over there and a tap room and brewery looks fun but these condos look really nice and then the ski area is behind them yeah I think the weather is going to be awesome this trip the last day we're in the Midwest, in Nebraska, they have a flood warning out. We'll see if it changes, but the, um, that's what they're saying, four inches of rain during the day. <laughs> so that should be fun. But um, we will probably stop in the next hour. Maybe we'll stop whenever there's something neat. 
we're not really in a rush. We have a week to get um, east, so we'll see. So this is crazy. I've never seen traffic backed up like this on I-90. It's at least 40 miles all the way to Snoqualmie Pass going west. It's like this. I mean, they're just barely moving. That would not be fun. And I have no idea how far it goes. Like we're, this is Clue Ellum coming up. So that's like, yeah, it's like 40 miles at least. Everybody went on vacation this last weekend. <laughs> After last year. If it goes to Ellensburg, I will be amazed. Because that's another 25 miles, I want to say. 20 miles. That would be a huge, huge traffic jam. I'm just glad that I'm not in it. Diesel, so good sign, but I'm gonna clean my window. Well, we made it to a rest area between Ritzville and Moses Lake, and I'm parked in the shade under these trees. Oh, it's Shrang Safety Rest Area, it's really nice. Ton of birds here. Like Zoe is fascinated with the birds. Oh, there she is. Birds and the people. Zoe, you guys say hi. Say hi. So I think these are wheat fields. Pretty neat.
but here's us. So there's tons of parking here for trucks and RVs. Wouldn't be a bad spot to spend the night. Oh, I think I'm in a no parking zone. I might have missed that. Oh, it's for this side though. It's not for the other side that I'm aware of. Like I see the sign on the other side, but yeah, it's not on this side. So I think I'm good. But um, we better get headed down the road. See you in a bit. I think that's Craig. There's the lake. walk over here and check this out yeah this is a nice rest area there's no shade but the views are outstanding hopefully Zoe is eating or something wow oh, it feels awesome in the shade here that is so neat I don't remember the name of this lake. It actually feels really nice in the shade. But here's the... It's a nice rest area. Pretty big. There's a billion people walking their dogs. Oh, I see the first mountains off in the distance. Straight in the middle of the camera if it's picking it up. Look at those giant windmill blades. Massive. Yeah, they overhang the road. <laughs> they gotta be careful not to take out those holes when they swing. Uh, I don't know what they do if they don't get the end spots. <laughs> There's a freeway right there. I-90. 